just three percent is left for the wild. So, so how sad. do we start to rebalance it? And I think we certainly could start by rewilding our yes. oceans. There's a lot of we space could feed to feed some do of that. the human beings to the animals. That, well, that would, wouldn't we? That would be. We could have a vote later and, and ask <laughs> if there's any candidates. But um, <laughs> certainly, we need to take I mean, our responsibilities seriously and uh, and help bring nature back. Because when you give nature the chance, it will recover. It regenerates very, very quickly indeed. It does. It does. Greetings, pure bloods. Welcome to the party. Yeah, I'm drinking some uh, fever fuel. It's got elderberry flowers and quinine. I can't say the whole thing. Otherwise, the censors will pick it up and I'll say, He's drinking one of these drugs. So, yeah, this is a really good tonic. You know, people like to drink liquor with it. Let's see if you can get a close up. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, fever few. This is some good stuff right here. Delicious. Well, anyway, salute to you. Cheers. Pure bloods. Mud bloods. To all the world. Not to the psychopaths, though. Which is what brings me to talk about one of the biggest psychopaths in the United Kingdom. You know, not to be outdone, you know, Tony Blair, what a bumbling fool. He wanted to push the WMDs. And now, not to be outdone by this new idiot, Boris Johnson. I knew several years ago, Boris Johnson was bad news when he was drinking that Fukushima peach juice. He went to Fukushima and he had that drink like this in his mouth and he's like, He's like, mmm, this is good. He drank that Fukushima peach juice. And he was trying to import the Fukushima products into England. Wow. What a nice guy, huh? Well, it was just a video that came out that they were talking about eating food from the oceans. And, you know, he's pushing that. He's like, yeah, we, we got to get, we could feed more people. Um, we take food out of the oceans, but we can also feed people to the animals. Really, feed humans to the animals, huh? So that's where you know where his mindset was. You know, he's trying to make a joke. But this is on his mind. That he has no problem with human life disappearing. It's all game to him. And UK got screwed. You kept, you had a leader who was pretty much running the whole thing, pushing the whole thing, and Nigel Farage. And I can guarantee you right now that things would be a lot better in Britain if Farage was the prime minister instead of his bumbling fool, Boris Johnson. What do you do, England? Obviously, this was chosen by the Queen. You have this crazy guy who wants to feed humans to the animals. And then he'll probably feed those animals to humans. He's a total idiot. I feel sorry for the people of England. You know, obviously I'm not from there, but I have some descendants that came from Scotland and England. It's always been one of those places I wanted to see. And I don't know if I'm going to even be able to see it in my lifetime just because, you know, they want to make sure you get that passport. And you know what you got to do to get it. I ain't sticking nothing up in my nose or in my butthole to go somewhere or please somebody or some corporation. I declare bodily autonomy is your body and you should have that choice. People like Boris Johnson, they don't believe in human dignity, human rights. This guy is just bad news all around. Look at his haircut. I mean, that's how he manages his country. What a joke.